Welcome everybody back to another bold cast reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is Mob Psycho 100, season three, episode three. What happened last time? I can't even remember what happened last. Oh yeah, it was like the demon the festival king and, and the, king, the demons four whatever. generals and <laughs> yeah. all that stuff. We met, uh, I forget his name, but he was a really funny, rich kid who also knew, who strangely knew a little bit about psychic stuff. Mm -hmm. And that was, it was a lot mm -hmm. of fun. Kind of chill episode. Maybe things will start to pop off this time. It's been a slow start the first few episodes, but it's honestly not that out of character with Mob Psycho. Yeah. So uh, maybe we'll get more school stuff. And uh, like like I was theorizing, maybe last episode or the one before, I think this episode, this season is going to be mostly chill school stuff. And then maybe something huge will erupt with like Dimple, Dimple and, everything and the and... giant bro rotting broccoli that's browning in the middle of the city. Who knows if something big will happen, but I think it'll be a lot more low scale in terms of like school stuff. That's just my prediction, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. We're certainly starting off with the school. So let's see what happens there. If you want to see the uncut for these episodes and all of our seasonals shortly before they're available on YouTube, I put the uncut up on Patreon mm -hmm. so you can get the reactions a little bit early. Uh, and obviously the uncut reactions where things aren't cut out and you can get better audio and visual, et cetera, et cetera. That's available on Patreon. So uh, yeah, check, consider checking that out. Leave a like and subscribe. Let's get into it. ちょっと <laughs> 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 Honestly, such a relatable thing, just sneezing in, in snot ever in school. Imagine doing it on video in a random reaction at one point in the past <laughs> and being able to hide it, <laughs> for example. No. Still on about this, aren't you? So many girls in his life. I know. Whatever happened to their re relationship? I thought that was yeah. going to grow into something. I, thought, I just thought that they could just keep being friends and yeah. we didn't see her for a long time. <laughs> どうしたの? <laughs> is he actually getting popular? Or is something else going? Or are they looking at Ritsu? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I hate, I hate to like. <laughs> Are they actually talking they? about him? I can't tell. I don't know. He turned into Squidward. Yeah, that handsome one episode, Squidward. Yeah. Well, just, just for the rest of the series, he just looked like that. <laughs> yeah. You know how Mob could be so slick? What? If he wanted to give a girl flowers, he could, like, have the seeds in his hand and then, like, just grow them into a bouquet and then, like... Didn't he grow... do that before? Did he? 
I don't know he grew the tomato seeds and then he grew the broccoli seeds. I don't know that he did it with flowers. I thought he did that before. <laughs> it's not lovely. <laughs> How is it not rotting? Because it's growing. There's been a lot of religious undertones in the show, and I don't know where it's going. <laughs> it's going to Dimple being a god, and he's getting more powerful because they're worshipping him now. Mm. <laughs> See. Oh god. <laughs> Getting carried away 100%. Eavesdropping. <laughs> he said that it was him. <laughs> His voice. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. He looks more powerful. Yeah. Yeah, you're never there these days. なんで<笑><笑> <laughs> I mean, he, he, if he wanted to do it by force, he literally does. Calling him right out. Yokodorishioto <laughs> Yeah. You just got completely dismantled by a middle school child. <laughs> 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 
生活操作してほしいってのが四件も来てるね。As the broccoli is getting more powerful, it's probably its roots are like heading out and destroying everything. <laughs> I just want to meet everyone first. <laughs> <笑>あ、死んじゃった。50、8万人流行ってるのか。気づき、まつまつやだぞ。恋しい美人ですの匂いがする。一回行ってこい。一度は今日の。あ、死んじゃたちには衣装がいることを伝えておくんだぞ。
Dimple possessing someone else in disguise. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> free. <laughs> just all day was calling her. Ah. Tryptophobia is acting up in me right now. Made it to the roots it looks of the like tree. It. Yeah. I was really heating up from that one. <laughs> I feel like next episode is gonna be crazy. Yeah, it. Just, I felt I felt real disconnected from like everything that was kind of going on this episode because it was like mob acting, I like growing seemingly mm -hmm. just like becoming kind of a teenager, but just kind of going against seemingly his like the idea that he would consider to go and audition to be the leader of this religious group based on his psychic powers yeah is like kind of weird really for his, his character like he hasn't done it this entire time it's just kind of against everything that he is so i was really confused for most of the episode but it's all just kind of set up seemingly for who i imagine is dimple like yeah, using the roots of the tree definitely dimple yeah um and yeah keep praying to it just so that he gets more power and can siphon it all into himself yeah uh, <laughs> yeah. I, the the design for this like the this fake mob is actually really freaky. Yeah. And I like how he like the face is more smooth than the rest of it, just to like give like a somewhat human appearance. But then all the clothes is just like in the hand. Like oh, it, it's it's very freaky. tryptophobic. It's so bad. Yes. And then I love how everyone just like. It get, get, gets all gets all up and angry about it. Like everyone's already formed all their ideas of what it's about. Yeah, everyone's trying to take ownership of it because it's a symbol of power. So if they can contribute it to their own cause, then it's beneficial and they can get more, mm -hmm. you know, prosperity for whatever they want. It's all selfishness, which is the whole point mm -hmm. of uh, like the greed. The greed is a big theme of of Mob Psycho. Yeah. Of um you know, t taking advantage of, of things and taking advantage of your own strengths or taking advantage of ambiguity and then, you know, scamming basically use, using, using ambiguity as a tool to like attribute things to yourself or like mm -hmm. how Reagan does with basically everything of, Oh, this is my massage. I'm actually, it's a psychic massage that purifies your body of toxins and evil spirits or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, that's kind of what everybody does. And that seems to be what's going on here. It's just, it, well, it, it'll be interesting to see what they do with that. My only fear is that this whole arc or whatever this is going to be, is just going to be reinforcing the same theme that we've seen for the last three seasons or two seasons. Yeah. If it's um, just going to be, Oh no, dimples out of control. Let's, Take him down, okay. But maybe the differentiating thing is that the fact that it is Dimple this time, it presents Mob and other characters with a choice of, like, since it's our friend doing it. Yeah. Like, what does that mean? But, I, yeah, I don't know. I find it interesting that, like, they, like, Mob knew Dimple was going to do this the whole time. I'm, I'm glad that he tried to stop him. It's just, it's it's funny, like, I think, that I think, whole scene with Dimple is really interesting. Yeah. I think th it's just showing how out of touch Mob is because he's not paying attention. I think he's very in touch. Well, uh, but he, knew, the, he knows but exactly time, what he's doing. He calls him out on it, but thinks that that will be enough to dissuade him. I don't think he thinks that. I think that he just 
what what is he gonna do about it? Like, he's is he gonna kill him? Is he gonna di- no. you, exercise him? Like, he can't. He it, Dimple's just another person. Like, he can't control him. So I think that the the thing is, Mob is very in touch and becoming more in touch with people. I think he's grown to be more in touch with the real reality of certain situations and. Maybe the mob in season one wouldn't have understood what he was doing as much uh, right away, possibly. Mm -hmm. But he, you know, completely dismantles everything he's doing. But Dimple has no reaction, just leaves and seemingly does it anyway, unless it's a switcheroo and it's actually something else. Yeah. Um, He's just like clearly super saying dimple yeah. like he's all everything's pointing up. He's way more erect, I guess, on (laughs) fire, like. Um, yeah, the, the just, golden instead of just like a small bubbly sort of wavy yeah. thing. His aura is very pointed and and mm-hmm. you know fiery and stuff. So it shows that he's obviously doing this. And Mob isn't is you know smart enough to see that, call him out, and then Dibble's just like, why don't I? Why don't we merge and then I'll you know we'll do it together. And it's like, I, I it's just also with Dimple. Dimple seems really out of touch to me. Yeah, and yeah. It's, it's stuff like this that makes me wonder if, if I'm missing something. Because like, it, it seems like w- Dimple, why would Dimple ask Mob after being with him for two plus seasons and knowing exactly who he is? Is he so blind to like who Mob is as a person and all of his growth? He'll... Like he's been watching him from two feet away, second person this whole time and hasn't seen the growth, hasn't seen him change, hasn't mm-hmm. hasn't got an idea of what his morals are, thinks that he would just become this. Like, it just seems kind of so out of touch that it's like, why, in what universe would Dimple actually think that yeah. that would happen, you know? I think, I, that's, it's just I confusing so, writing to me. So far this season has definitely not been as good as the last two. I'm not ready to say I, that. I, but I, I'm not but ready I'm, to say I'm, that. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that, like, as we as we get get more into it, I'll feel more into it. I just yeah, it's just there's stuff like that that's just like confusing because it's like they're setting up something, and it, it, that, like okay, because it, it's confusing because I think I know what's coming, but I could not, and we could be surprised. But it's the way everything's going. It seems like why would Mob want to do this? Why would Mob even could not even want to? It doesn't like maybe he doesn't necessarily want to do that. He seems just. He seems He's to be like enjoying open, the attention yeah. and is becoming a teenager, like I said. So it's why the t- the mob that we know would not, with his growth, would not be open to this type of thing. And maybe he'll come to a, re- a realization of like, oh, I, I'll, you know, wh- how stupid of me. But the fact that he would think that is, it seems like a one step forward or one step back, one step forward mm-hmm. type character development where like he does a dumb thing and then real reaffirms what he already knew at the start. And it's just kind of like we, we, that's what we knew. But again, if they set, if they're setting up for a twist or something that we didn't know or didn't yeah. understand and it goes somewhere in a different direction, then that's interesting. Mm-hmm. But, um, but so, so there's no real way to know, but so far it seems like they're setting up very basic, very obvious character development that we've already kind of seen there. It seems like it, it's like kind of ignoring what we already know about the characters or what we, or, or maybe not like at least about mob with, um, with, yeah, with dimple, it could be interesting because yeah. we don't, we don't super know what he's planning. Maybe he's planning something else, or maybe there's another thing going on that we don't fully understand. But if it is at face value, what we're seeing, and it's just going to follow the path of like, they're going to have a confrontation. The only interesting thing that could really come from this is what will mob do if he's, if he's putting, if, if dimple is what's in, is is what's creating the trouble. Yeah. If they if they if history repeats itself and like Dimple is like this um religious leader and um is but he doesn't taking just advantage kill of him people. This time. Yeah, and, and at a larger scale, you mm-hmm. know, like what what is that is that going to be the the sort of big climactic choice of this arc? Or is it uh and, and you know, how will that end up? Yeah. Cause if it ends up that if it goes that direction of this very predictable storyline with no real change, no real like twist, no interesting sort of, um, I don't know, subversion or anything like that. If mob has to confront dimple and then talks him down, like he has the previous other villains kind of, or like confronts them and in a way talk, no jutsus them or, um, sort of overcomes their power through his own power. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, they sort of go become mundane or not try to do this. And it just happens with Dimple, and it's more emotional because it's Dimple, and it's not somebody else. I, I think I'm going to be disappointed 
with the seat with with uh, the arc, if not the whole season. If if that's where this is going, mm-hmm. if it's just that predictable route. I hope that thing. they do something different. I hope they it. do something different. And like if, if the, they don't, the way it's just that like whatever the I, I don't know. There's been really emotional highs, especially last season. So, um, yeah, I, I'd be interested. So like obviously the writing is like there and really capable of you know switching things around and doing interesting stuff. So I so I so I I, I still have hope. I just don't want to see the same thing. You know. Yeah. I just don't want to see the exact same thing and. It to follow the script of what it's setting up. I hope that they're they're setting something up to subvert that and do something different. Um, I just wish that um, I wasn't feeling, and it could just be me. I just wish I wasn't feeling so out of touch with like Mob as a character and out of touch with uh, the whole situation. It just feels kind of like scripted. Yeah. Even though it's literally scripted, like it's from a comic book <laughs> yeah. and, it's, and it's from a script but it feels just kind of like we're f- going through the motions of setting up this kind of conflict between these two mm-hmm. forces and it's just kind of like i was i kind of expect more from the the series so hopefully they give us more with that yeah leave a like and subscribe we'll see you next week i'm carson i'm Lindsay. bye-bye